Are you vaccinated and what's your stance on, on vaccinations? Yeah, I've been immunized. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. Aaron Rodgers caused quite a stir with his recent interview on the Pat McAfee Show. And in this video, we're going to go over what I think is one of the biggest points of contention with this whole story. This was Aaron Rodgers during an interview at the end of the summer. Any conversation? Are you vaccinated and what's your stance on, on vaccinations? Yeah, I've been immunized. Everybody, of course, took this to mean that Rodgers had been vaccinated. He responded, yeah, to that question and then said he'd been immunized, which historically by any account refers to the process of being vaccinated. We learned in his interview on the Pat McAfee show that he had been instead undergoing a series of holistic alternative medicine treatments to basically build up his body's immune response to prevent or fight off COVID, in his sense, being immunized. Rogers doesn't think that he lied when he responded to that reporter's question asking directly if he had been vaccinated. In the truest medical sense, your body does not have its sort of built-in specific immunity to the COVID-19 virus unless you've either already been infected or been vaccinated. To say that you've been immunized in the equivalent sense of getting a vaccine without those two circumstances is a complete misunderstanding of how our body's immune system works. Broadly speaking, our body's immune system has two distinct parts, the innate immune system and the adaptive. The innate immune system is nonspecific. It's things like protective barriers, our skin, mucus, and the non-specific cells of our immune system that go around and just recognize general characteristics of pathogens like viruses, bacteria, and parasites. It's your body's first line immune response whenever you get any sort of infection within your body. We all have an innate immunity against general bacteria and viruses, but that innate immunity is not specific to the SARS-CoV-2 virus. On the other hand, our adaptive immunity, that's where those things like antibodies that you hear about come into play. Our adaptive immunity is this sort of learned response. Whenever our body is exposed to a specific pathogen, we have various cells in our immune system that work to generate these antibodies. The antibodies recognize specific characteristics and different molecules on that individual virus, like the COVID-19 virus, to have a more specific immune response and subsequent immunity to that infection. Further within this adaptive immunity, you can have either active or passive adaptive immunity, Active is whenever you've either been infected with the disease or you've been vaccinated, and that's what causes your adaptive immune system to produce these antibodies. Or passive, where you've either been inoculated with something like the monoclonal antibodies or you've gotten those antibodies from things like placental transfer during pregnancy. In the body of somebody who's never had the infection or is not vaccinated or doesn't have the monoclonal antibodies floating around, the SARS-CoV-2 virus attaches to these receptors within our body it's taken up by our cells, and then our body's own cells produce all the different viral compounds to release the virus back out into our bloodstream. Antibodies are these green little molecules produced by our adaptive immune system that have specific receptors for the proteins on the surface of the COVID virus. So when the virus enters our body, there's already these antibodies around that can provide a more robust immune response to latch onto that virus and block it from entering our cells. The other end of these antibodies has a receptor that the other parts of our white blood cell system can recognize to come along, latch onto that virus or bacteria, and basically destroy it to get rid of it from our body. When people talk about immune boosting diets or other things like Rogers might have been doing here, that's not going to actually generate antibodies. The only way that you can generate antibodies and develop that true specific immunity is again, if you've either been exposed to the virus or had the vaccination. But you're not gonna produce those specific antibodies that give you that true immunity. That's what we're referring to when we talk about being immunized. Now you can get these antibodies from other ways. That's what monoclonal antibody therapy is. In order to be authorized for those monoclonal antibodies, you have to either have the infection or be high risk of a bad infection and also have been exposed. And so it's not like people can just prophylactically take monoclonal antibodies year round indefinitely without being in one of those two categories. Rogers was specifically asked here by McAfee what he did, like what his regimen was and what he was boosting in his body and basically said he was gonna keep that between him and his doctor. And I truly believe that Rogers can choose to not get vaccinated if he wants to choose to not get vaccinated. But where I have a problem is when people start having these conversations and misrepresent the fundamental science about how things like our immune system work. Hearing those initial comments gives people who might not understand the impression that you can be immunized against COVID-19 without having either had the infection or gotten the vaccine. But again, in the true accepted sense of what we mean when we say somebody's been immunized, 
you don't get there by doing just holistic type things and alternative medicine type approaches. Roger's point about his allergy to the two mRNA vaccines, totally legit. If I had a serious allergy, I probably wouldn't wanna take either of those either. Johnson & Johnson vaccine was paused for a short period of time, but this was only like 10 days before they found that there wasn't actually enough evidence to really say that those risks were enough to withhold giving it. I wish with all these different scenarios of people choosing to not get vaccinated, they would just say they don't feel comfortable getting vaccinated. Instead, we get people who try to explain their reasoning or kind of misconstrue the science. And I'm sure it's because people feel like they're gonna get attacked if they say they're not vaccinated. But instead, all it does is make everything more confusing because of all the rationale that they try to portray as true science. Just say you don't wanna get vaccinated and move on. Unfortunately, people in society attack them for not getting vaccinated, and so you get situations like Rogers where he probably felt afraid to say he wasn't vaccinated and said this statement instead about being immunized, which now only adds more confusion to the whole situation and misconstrues how the immune system works for the general public who's seeing these comments. So that's all I have to say right now about this situation. I think it was still a valuable opportunity to take a look at just the basic fundamentals of how our immune system works in terms of how we generate antibodies, what those antibodies do, and what we really mean when we say in medical sense that somebody has been immunized. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.